All through school I was the kid either getting in trouble for drawing or I had a couple really good teachers who were like, just let me do my thing. I think of myself as mostly a storyteller. I make graphic novels, uh, comic strips, picture books. Uh, the next thing I'm turning in actually to my publisher is a novel. Really anything that's storytelling and some combination of words and pictures. Drawing from life is really important and that means visually drawing from life, the world around you, and also in a writing standpoint, like pulling from your very own experiences. The hidden reasons why a lot of the original things that we love are so great are because they came from a special place within that person, that storyteller, right? In my best moments, I feel like my books really do reflect what's going on. So where did Zeta the Space Girl come from, like the secret origin of Zeta the Space Girl? I always feel like I'm coming clean when I'm telling this story um, because I feel like I actually stole Zeta the Space Girl. I stole, it from, I stole the idea from this cute girl that I met at Christendom College and she had her own series of, of comics. I was like, well, I'm going to develop this character and I made her a whole comic book, kind of developed Zeta the Space Girl, get a cape and a Z. This plan of mine, um, to impress this girl by developing her comics character it totally worked because she married me and now I'm here with my five daughters and Anna's still like putting up with my crazy artistic ways. The name Zita, my wife is, is Italian and the village that her father came from uh, is up in the Apennine Mountains. It's a tiny little, tiny little place called Gravania. The local patroness of the region was Saint Zita. To me, the beauty of Saint Zita is that she's not dramatic. She was known just for being awesome, kind to poor people, and for baking bread. Really great bread, and also giving the bread away. And there's all the, the stories like, like giving away, even though the family was like, you shouldn't be giving away the bread. Um, and she was like, I'm still going to give away the bread to the poor people. The story of Zita's space girl starts with two kids coming home from school, Zita and her friend Joseph. And they find a crater and inside that is a meteorite and inside that is a red button. Tension and open questions are kind of the secret to storytelling. And so your very first story question is, find a mysterious red button. You don't know what it does. Do you push it or not? And so we have two kids who answer that question in different ways. Zita is this sort of aggressively curious child and Joseph is a very reserved and careful child and so she ends up pushing the button and he gets kidnapped and whisked away to another world on the far side of the universe. She makes the decision to go after him. If you love a set of characters the happiest ending for me would be and they kept having adventures uh, forever but the, the problem with that ending is that people reading the books are like well what are the adventures? I think what has happened now is that these three books stand together as maybe a first Zeta trilogy, and then there are possibilities of adaptations. Fox has optioned the Zeta series, which means they may or may not make a movie, but they have the option of making a movie. It's hard to step back and look at your life, but sometimes when I'm able to step back and look at it, like you're just tremendously grateful and also kind of humbled by the opportunity, right? It comes with a lot of responsibility. Um, having a voice, you know, um, and having an audience, uh, particularly a young audience, um, that comes with a responsibility. But it also comes with a lot of joy and a lot of excitement. And I'm still like sort of reeling and meditating and thinking a lot about the role of the storyteller and the artist in the world. It's just like Spider-Man. It's just like great power and great responsibility. Uh, they're together. And um, the harder and the more contentious that that times are, the more serious the role of the artist is in the world. <laughs>